And Mr. Right. Worthington. Right and Sam the Swisher. Look it back to your left. What tied together? Right on, right, guys. Sam and right. Hold that those smiles. Excellent one yeah, time. Right. Right. And Miss Hildana right here. Zoe. And Miss Hildana right here. And that beautiful smile, Zoe Shannon. Right. Right. Look at that. Right. Zoe. Zoe, here we go. Look at that. And let's Zoe. see the Zoe. necklace Zoe. right here, Zoe Shannon. Zoe. Sigourney, that smile this way, all the way. Look. Sigourney, the front, the front, that one. Sigourney, and Sigourney, 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 Have me come down just a bit. And Trinity, beautiful right there. And Trinity, Trinity, right? Here. Right, right here. Right here. Right here. And straight ahead again. Go up with the dress. Bailey, 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 down the line one time. Bailey, Bailey down the line. Bailey, 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 And Joel right here. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And Giovanni smiles all right up. John Scorny, let's move over to the Yes, Her, the front, the front of the. Oh, my God. Her, the front. Right here, right in front of you. Right in front of you. And everybody straight ahead, please. That's the bottom. Thank you. Right here, Russell. And gentlemen, one time right here, please. The smiles, excellent. Everybody with your family, those smiles right there, please. Hold that one sec. Last one, Hallie, right here. And Hallie. straight ahead, Hallie. Right beside her. <laughs> and that smile right here, sir. Hold that one sec. And excellent. And got together. One more. Right, one more left this way, Ali. One more straight answer. And that smile right there. Aaron. Ladies, looking down the line. Raven. At one time right here, Raven. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do that. Thank you. Thank you. Big smile. Here, right from. Come to the right. And that smile right here. And Mr. Arnold. Yeah. One more time. And together right here. And one more time, straight ahead. No, shoulders towards it. Like, yeah, there you go. And smile one time, excellent. that you're going to get tonight thanks, thanks to, to the Dolby, Dolby system. system. You know, we did the London premiere, but now being in L.A. and seeing this carpet, which is huge, oh, I, I feel great. And I feel like it's, it's actually happening. You know, I feel, it's a pinch me moment right now. 
this is a film for everyone, no matter where you come from, and it is a global film, so I'm so happy that we're doing a global press tour, and so many fans can be a part of it. The main theme is 1,000% family, and that family isn't just who you're born with, who you're born to, but also your chosen family. I'm most excited for audiences to see to meet these characters and to sh just truly escape in a film that you're going to feel great afterwards. Not, you know, you're not going to feel sad and you're going to feel, you're going to feel like you, you went on a journey. Uh, it's, it's an extreme blessing. I'm so happy to be here. Walking into the whole area here, it's like walking into Pandora. Uh, just feeling that feeling over again, it's, it's such a blessing and I'm so happy to be here and support this amazing film because it means so much um, to people in this time in, in the world right now. And it's, a, it's an important message that needs to be seen, watched, 3D, so yeah. Uh, the main themes are family. Um, it's going to be heartfelt and emotional. It's, it's going to be like no blockbuster film that has come out in quite some time. Yes. Finally, finally, because I've been working hard for the last two years, and I, I guess back since 2017 with James Cameron, creating the Navi Sign Language. It took two years to create 300 Navi signs, and now tonight we get to see the real Avatar movie. We'll be seated, I'll be eating my popcorn, and watching and enjoying the movie. At first, I have to admit that I was a little clueless. I had seen the movie Avatar, but I had an interview with James Cameron, and he said that he had chosen me. And so I rolled up my sleeves. I was excited and honored to work with Avatar in this company and growing with all of the cast and all of the talented people, everyone who is learning the Navi Sign Language, and the crew who is involved in also picking up those signs, it really felt like a family, and it grew from there. The emotions, the story, the sign, the signing under the water, and the story itself is such a beautiful story. I haven't seen the movie myself, so I am looking forward, I know already, that it's going to be the most exciting story ever told. Well, I think these movies are made for the fans. I mean, they're, they're, it's a visionary work by Jim, Jim Cameron, and all the technicians, crew, artists, everyone that works on it. But I think these movies are made for the fans, and if they don't, if it doesn't matter to them, it doesn't matter, right? And it's been very gratifying to see how much people love the movie, how much they love the story, and this really heartfelt family tale. I think that's what's really resonating with people, is it's emotional, and it's got high stakes, not just about the visual that's going to knock your socks off because Jim's involved, but you know that famous phrase, and never bet against Jim, and I don't think you should. It's been, it's been a blessing, honestly, praise God. But I just, I'm honestly speechless. It's like all the, diff all the different work that was put into it and all the different things that we got put through to, to be able to be a part of it. <laughs> it's just been wicked, it's been cool. I'd say for me, I've seen a little bit, I've seen just a little bit. And from what I've seen, I'd say family is a big part. Family is a huge part of, of it. I mean, you got the environmental parts and all that, but it's like, it's family, yeah. I think family, obviously. I know, I know everyone's heard it a number one, like a thousand times, but family, because um, it just re reinstills family's the most important thing, and we all have one, and you know, it's the lengths we go to protect that. I mean, he's he's the best when it comes to world making. Like, I I don't know the first thing on how to make a world like he does and how to build it and immerse people in it. Like, it's just a it's just he he's a he's a master. Oh man, I, I'm I'm just so excited to, for people to see like you know the new cast of it's about you know the Sullys have gotten older they have a family now and um, I play Spider who's a human who was born and raised on Pandora and he's already like a teenager so we already you know he, he he's a normal teenager but obviously in a very unnormal environment. Yeah, it's a good moment. Uh, me and the young cast have been waiting for well the whole cast and crew have been waiting for this to come out for a long time and um, we're just very grateful to be here, ready to share it. 
Uh, it's an absolute honor, and I mean, they've done an amazing work with the script. There's obviously not so much that we can say right now, but the way they've managed to expand the terrain but also keep such a personal ideal at heart is, um, is really interesting. And for that to be in the format of an action film is actually quite incredible, and I hope the audience enjoy it. It's about a family who get pushed out of their home and have to explore a new terrain and try and survive through that transgression. And um, yeah, it's a very, they're on an alien world, but it's a very humanistic ideal at heart. This is for me, I, I was 27 when I, uh, when I booked this, so think about that. To be on this carpet almost 20 years later, I'm 45 now, almost 20 years later is a magnificent moment. It personally for me, for my family, for my lovely wife who's here, uh, we're just so excited. Jim, who cannot join us today, we're repping. It's almost like we don't know what to do with him not here, though. We need direction here, Jim. Come on. It almost feels like it's nostalgic, right? It's like it's almost like a franchise that we're bringing back. No, but the, I think what people don't understand is we've been working on this the entire time. Jim went to work right after that, battled through a first draft, took on writers, brought a whole team together, almost like a writer's room that you do in, you know, in Hollywood. Uh, and, and, and slowly this sort of began the progression of not one sequel, then we heard that it was going to be two sequels, then they took those two, split them into two, there's four sequels, and that's where, that's where we are right now. On our world tour, we started in London, uh, a melting pot of the whole Europe. Everybody came there, met us there. We then went to Seoul, Korea for one day. We went to Tokyo for one day. And now we're here in Los Angeles. And it's so exciting to finally get to share this movie with audiences truly around the world. You know, I think what Jim Cameron does, he writes in universal themes. And this movie, in particular, has the most universal theme of all, family at its center. But Jim doesn't just tell the story from the parents' perspective, he also tells it from the teenage children, children who are struggling to find their role in life, and that makes it relatable, and these characters are both aspirational and inspirational. But I think one of the things we were really excited about was bringing back characters that the audience would be familiar with, but introducing a whole new generation of characters that audiences actually can grow up with. And we're also taking them to new biomes. First movie, we were in the rainforest. This movie, we touch on the rainforest, but we go to the incredible oceans of Pandora and give something audience have never experienced before. I think what I'm most excited for audiences to discover is how emotional this movie is. This movie will pull at your heartstrings in ways that you didn't expect. Most importantly, it's a family film. Um, it's a movie about the Sully family, uh, the hardships that they endure, uh, the battle that they take on to protect their family, uh, the tragedies that they endure as well. And uh, I think it's a pretty uh, topical theme. And you know, the last few years have been rough for a lot of people across the country, and I think it, it hits home for a lot of us. Uh, well, first of all, it's a giant spectacle, so, you know, I'm as excited as the audience might be because I haven't seen the film yet. So, um, as a visual spectacle, I think it's going to be incredible. Um, I look forward to the new characters and uh, watching the development of them and how that pans out. Yeah, it's thrilling, you know. It's, uh, this movie's been like a labor of love for thousands of people involved, so it's, it's great to finally get to share it. Well... Look, you, you, you just hope that your movie gets seen and you hope it connects. So, um, you know, we've been around the world and people have seemed to take into it and it's, it's lovely. Well, it's so exciting to be here tonight just to know we're going to share it with so many people who are so excited. And we've been so excited now for about 10 years, uh, having read the scripts and, you know, it was a, a wonderful project to be a part of, and uh, Jim is a great director, our ensemble is just wonderful, and so now that we get to share with everybody, it's just the best. It's exciting to share something that's this global in concept and uh, so meaningful. Uh, it's an emotional story, and uh, also just a completely immersive experience. Well, we saw it last week for the first time, and the experience of seeing it, honestly, from the first second it begins, don't even bother to buy some popcorn. 
you will not want to take your eyes off the screen for one second to take a piece. Um, I've never seen anything like it, and I've never experienced anything like it. I think they hopefully they will discover the beauty and the exquisite uh, story that Jim has told. I'm just there to support it. One of the things, the advantages I have on this one is that because we're underwater for so much of this, often I get a chance to actually play, this, be the story in terms of, you know, tell what's going on musically. And that's, uh, that's uh, uh, obviously a wonderful thing to be able to have to do. But the, the film is exquisite. We started in Europe, uh, Berlin, London, and uh, we stayed in London for a few days, then uh, had a wonderful uh, London world premiere there, actually. Then we flew to Seoul uh, in Korea, and the Koreans were wonderful fans. They were great, and then on to Tokyo, and, uh, and finally, here we are in L.A., and, um, yeah, and I'm still standing, so, you know. Well, I think that... It, it really doesn't matter where you're from, what country, what part of the globe you're from. When you see Pandora, it, it just has an overwhelming effect. It's so lush, it's so lavish. It's a wonderful place to spend some time. And then, of course, the themes of this are all about family. And again, that's a global deal. We're all family. And so I think that that accounts for a lot of the appeal that it has. I just think that they're going to discover the, just the emotional core of the vision that Jim Cameron is expressing here, which is <clears throat> solidarity with the very planet that one lives on, the idea that we need to be, we need to take care of each other and we need to take care of our home. And he tells that story in the most exciting way possible and in the most dramatic way possible and in the most poignant way possible. It, you know, it's just a great adventure. And uh, so I hope people will just want to experience that adventure and want to continue to experience the adventure as the saga goes on. Yeah, it's so fun. Um, it's crazy that the day has finally come and now we're at the LA premiere. And it's really fun. I'm getting to reunite with people I haven't seen in such a long time. And I can't wait for everyone to see the movie. It's really exciting. Uh, yes, this film has is introducing a lot of new characters and also new creatures and wonders. And we see a part of Pandora that we haven't seen before, too. And uh, I just watched the film a couple of days ago, or actually a week ago, and I already can't wait to see it again because there's so much detail, so much to take in, whether it's the characters, the creatures, and the world, and it's really incredible. Worldwide appeal for this story. Um, I guess it is very relatable. I think every character has, there are so many characters in this film, but they're all shown justice. They all have their own story and um, just are finding who they are and where they belong and uh, are also unique, but love each other. And um, yeah, it's really incredible. I think people are gonna love the film. I mean, it was it was a wonderful experience. This was seven years in the making, you know, and, and five in the shooting, and we're finally here. I know that for the fans, it was more like 13 years. Um, good things are always worth the wait. Jim has been known for taking his time because he has that much respect and that much love for his followers, for his fans. And he knows that what made Avatar 1 special was the fact that there was a true love story. He needed to wait uh, for this story to sort of tell him where it wanted to go. And, um, and I'm so happy he did. Um, in the center of all this turmoil and this beautiful planet lies a family that is trying to stay together, that is trying to raise their children and um, in times of war.